What's up everyone, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be going over the Convoy Pack and don't forget to check out subscriptions, check out channel memberships, patrons, it really helps us out. Doesn't matter anyway. Hope you enjoy this video. I have found a GPU, I'm just waiting for the funds to go into my account and now we're going to get straight into it. So the Convoy Pack, we're going to go over should you buy it or not. Now in my mind I think that this pack is a, of great value and when I go over how much you're going to save and what you can do with the possible ships in this, it will make a little bit more sense on what you can really do with this pack and where you can take it and what you can get out of it. I know it's a lot of money, but again, if you've got a lot of money, this figure shouldn't really bother you. Again, if you're um, intimidated by big figures like this and you haven't got much invested in this game, it's not for you. Uh, you might want something like this down the track later on, uh, possibly down in the future, because obviously a lot of these ships are in the game except for the hull, the merchantman, uh, the Vulcan, the triage. Uh, and that's pretty much it all the other ones are in game so you're obviously going to be getting great value as well uh, as we do know the merchant man went up from 450 for a CCU to 500 and it's 550 or just 500 it's 550 with taxes on it if you buy the pack for it like just the merchant man by itself uh, the hull D obviously pretty good ship for um, obviously hauling C2 again most of these are haulers and then you've got larger you got the large star ferry you got the Vulcan as well so there's a great sort of diverse fleet there and we'll like I said we'll go over what you can do with these ships in my mind I feel like this it's kind of worth the money that you're paying for it but again you know it's a touch and go sort of topic so obviously you've got the Titan Renegade in there which is actually worth $20 more than the normal Titan because of the name and the skin and stuff so if you want that that's great so like we're going to go over the price of these ships and probably pretty much like the, some of these ships are really great for CCUing and the value that you're going to get for them obviously from the Hammerhead to the Caterpillar to the Merchantman to the Hull D, Starfarer, Su-2, um, even the Triage and Vulcan have great value so you know for later on down in down the track for sales you can actually make um, a pretty decent um, CCU chain out of these so don't forget those as well um, again Vulcan triage not in the game so they're bound to go up in value once they are released which we're not too sure when that's going to happen so starting from the ground obviously your 135C um, is probably one of the cheapest ships in this fleet it's like the minimum price of a ship um, pretty much for this fleet it's they're all pretty high valued obviously like the Gladius uh, the Hornet uh, this smaller ships but obviously a good dollar value in um, retrospective of looking at the value for these ships I know I'm just sort of babbling on right now but as you can see the Merchman's a great ship C2 is a good ship I don't mind them like I'm not gonna hate on them anymore because people seem to get really upset about it I don't care um, and you got the hull D, the caterpillar. So you got a lot of good haulers in this fleet, and you probably don't need that many haulers. Uh, like the merchantman's got a good uh, ratio of gunpowder on it. The hull D obviously can only go in space, station to station. And then you got your Hercules C2, which is sort of like a, a ground vehicle carrier. And then you got your caterpillar, another hauling ship, Starfarer, refueler, Vulcan, repair, refuel, rearm, triage, medical ship. You got your freelance Max again, another sort of transport, uh, and it's got good guns on it 135c multiple uses uh, you got your titan renegade for your transport you got your hammerhead for your combat your terrapin for exploration which is a really good ship people do underestimate this and i will do a video on that later on down the track the saber obviously another fantastic combat ship uh defender good ship uh super hornet and the gladius again the gladius fantastic i love like a lot of, i like a lot of these ships they're great um, so really with the dollar value of these ships you've got the hull D at 350 and again the Merchman's gone from 450 to 500 the C2 400 so with the hull D you could even upgrade that to another ship so if you go into like hangar uh, link or something or even um, just going into star citizen tools you can see the hull values of ships and what you can really get out of it so if you have a hull D obviously you go up to a hull E you could even upgrade from your merchman to a hull e if that's what you really want and you don't want these ships and then the hammerhead you can even upgrade that to a polaris obviously being one of the higher sub capitals that you can use so obviously like i said with the dollar value of this pack if you were to get each individual ship by itself you would be paying four thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars which is a, a lot of money okay 
So with the pack cost with taxes, it's three thousand eight hundred fifty, but with the base price, it's three and a half thousand dollars. So you're essentially saving seven hundred dollars. So if you've got a good amount in the game already and you buy this pack, you're going to save a lot of money down the track when it comes to being able to CCU to other ships because obviously having your staff area that can also then get you to the Endeavor if you don't want the uh, the staff area, the Merchman to something else that's bigger. Again, you could go to the Carrick. Again, use that CCU chain. It's these. It's all up to you how you want to change these packs, even if you want the triage or whatnot. It's all down to how you feel about these ships. Um, obviously, going to into depth with this pack, it's not like the Prevectus pack where it's got a lot of small ships at a really low hull value. They're actually just decent hulls valued at a really good price, and they will actually save you money down the track. Obviously, saying that the pack will save you money, CCUing will save you money also because you don't have to put extra into it. But again, if you have a lot of money in this game, that probably really does not matter to you at all. Um, obviously, my favorite ship in this pack is the Merchantman. I've got one of those right now, so I'm happy. But if I were to melt everything, I'd probably really get this pack and use these ships and then uh, CC a lot of them like the Super Hornet Defender because obviously you can get the smaller ships in game. So that's not really a big deal if you were to then cease, like get rid of those ships, you can buy them in game. It's not a real big factor of, oh no, can I afford this ship? I mean, you could even buy them later on down the track, but for the time being, you can CCU them and get something bigger and better and just use this pack uh, to your heart's content. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this pack. I think in my mind it's really it's really good value for money, obviously being that it is three thousand three and a half thousand dollars. Maybe it's not for a lot of people, like I did say, a lot of these packs aren't, but I do this for the majority of people that do want these packs and want to see what the opinion of someone else is and you know the, the value for these packs. So if you do want to know the prices of ships, go to Hangar Link or even Star Citizen Tools, which is also a really great one. Um, don't forget, we got sales coming up, so I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been Baron Aussie Gamer. I'll see you in the verse.